Hey everyone, Kevin here. What I'm going to do in this video is show you a new add-on for Beaver Builder and it is called Beaver Themer. It kind of bridges the gap between page styling and you know structuring your page and your theme. It's kind of like a, a bridge between those two things. Um, I'll just quickly show you Beaver Builder for the benefit of those of you who don't know what it is. Beaver Builder is a page builder, it is a drag and drop page builder for WordPress and it allows you to style your pages, it allows you to structure your pages, you can save templates, save those um, designs as templates and then you know unleash them across your whole website and clearly I just use the word unleash because it's there. <laughs> um, yeah you can you can kind of, once you've saved the design you can then make it global and use that de design across your whole website so it works really well I've used a, a, a lot of different page builders in my time. At the moment, I'm using Visual Composer on my own blog simply because there's a, a another extension that I use that works well with it. But Beaver Builder is certainly one of the best, and you know, I was probably top three in my opinion. It's up there with Divine uh, Visual Composer. The, the one thing I would say about it, uh, this is the demo area, and the one thing I would say is that it's probably the quickest drag and drop page builder out there, certainly one of, it's certainly one of the easiest to use. I just feel sometimes that, you know, from a design, um, cosmetic, professional kind of uh, look, it's, it's just not as good looking as some of the other options out there. But I don't think that's a major problem. And it's not like it looks bad. I just think, you know, options like Divi maybe look a little bit better. That's all I'm saying. But uh, I'm a really big fan of it. I think I think it's great. Um, I remember reviewing it when it first came out, and I'm still a big fan of it. What this new add-on does is it really does expand the functionality of Beaver Builder. So you can see here that it allows you to add theme templates, theme parts, field connections, post grids. Now, essentially, what it does, I'll, I'll jump over to the demo here. Might explain it a little bit better. You can see here. What it allows you to do, you've got, um, in fact, I'll jump to the add new. I think I'll explain it a little bit better. Here we go. So, my test content. Um, so, when you go to add a type, you can add a theme layout, you can add a template, you can add a save row or a save module. Now, it explains here as well that how it works is it, it allows you to create paste templates. That's essentially how that works. So, um, for example, if I jump back to theme layouts, you can see you've got a 404 page here, you've got archive pages, footer, header, post. Now, each of these are, you know, you saw it there, that when you add a new theme layout, you can choose the type. So you can choose it there. So when you choose theme layout, you can choose it to be a header, a footer, archive page, a single post, a 404 page, or a part. So you can use it as like a template part. Now these ones are all designed already, so it's probably easier to go in here and show you. Now, you can see some options here, whether the header is sticky, whether it's an overlay. Those options are unique to the header setting. But the location and user options, those are applicable to all the different theme layouts. Now, when you pick location, essentially what this does is allow you to change where a theme or template is used. So if you've got a theme layout, in this case the header, you can apply it to your whole site. But if you want, you can only apply it to, say, your archives page. But you could also add an exclusion rule and say all archive pages except date archives. It works really well. And, you know, you can see you can do this on a page basis, post basis. And, you know, you can determine where, you know, your theme layout is actually displayed on your website. And it's similar for users. You can determine whether it's only displayed to users by role or logged in users. And you can add as many rules as you want. You could say add in, the user has to be logged in and editor or above. Things like that. And as always, you can assign things to a category. Now the, the actual page builder, the actual page builder works in the same way as the page builder, um, you know, with Beaver Builder. So if you've used Beaver Builder, this is the page builder. And when you go to edit the theme, it's been very slow here. Okay. So when you go to edit the theme, 
It's really slow loading up, isn't it? Um, okay, so we've got it here at the top. So this is just underneath it says content area. So this is the header. This is the actual theme layout. And you can modify this in any way. Um, it works the same way as the page builder. You know, it, it's not too difficult to use. You've got different settings there. Um, and you can move things around easily. You know, it, you can do anything you want, really. You can delete sections. You can add them. When you add content, you can add rows and modules and all that. It's, it's very, very easy to use. Uh, I mean, if you use Beaver Builder, you will be familiar with the interface, so it's, it's a natural transition for you. Again, it is worth remembering, it is an add-on. It's not like a completely new system. It's an add-on for people who are using Beaver Builder. So the idea is, you know, once you've made your design, for example, your header, you can apply that to your whole site. And it works the same, you know, if, if you choose the footer, you can apply it to your whole site or you can customize an archives template or a post template, that kind of thing. These are things that you don't get in page builders. You know, you don't normally get that. And there's options for templates there. Let's take you through this. So, you know, any design can be saved as a template and be used elsewhere. It works in the same way as a templating system in Beaver Builder. You can save rows, you can save modules. It's, you know, on the surface it doesn't look like this is a major add-on, but it does add a huge amount of functionality that is missing from drag and drop page builders. What this is going to allow you to do is control your archive pages, your search pages, your 404 pages, I'm reading it from here as you can see, um, your headers, your footers, and it'll allow you to style your website. Now, at the moment, it's worth pointing out that at the moment, you can only use this with the Beaver Builder theme, Genesis, and Generate Press, I believe. And uh, So there's only those three themes just now. It may work with other themes, I believe, but those are the only ones that they say that this works out of the box with. The other good thing is, if you go down here, there's a, explains it here, the field connections. So when you're in a layout, um, let me see. You can apply um, field connections. So what it allows you to do is draw data, say, from your post, uh, and you can apply it to your whole website. So for example, you could, for example, display your latest articles, your latest blog posts in your header or in the footer, or, you know, you can pull dynamic data and then display it across one page, like an archive page, or across your whole website. And if I bring it up here, in fact, I did this before. Let's see if I can find the setting I found. That's not it. Where is it? Yeah, it's, um, see this part, heading? This is where you can draw things like you can, you know, for example, for the heading, I could use post title, post date, and things like that. So you'll find this this heading and link settings around in the settings area of different tabs uh, and your footer in your archive pages and things like that. So this, this was just a very quick look. As you can see, I've not bought this myself. I'm just looking at the public demos that's available from Beaver Builder. Um, the, there's the price. It's $147. There's a 25% discount at the moment, so you can pick up for $110.25. This is obviously targeted to customers of Beaver Builder, you know, so you're not going to be buying this unless you've got Beaver Builder. But I'm sure there will be some of you perhaps are using an, another drag and drop page building solution, and perhaps this will draw you into page um, draw you into Beaver Builder because it's now offering functionality that you don't get already. But um, I think it looks good. I think it looks like a, a, a good little solution. It's not for everyone. And uh, I won't deny it is obviously quite an expensive add-on as far as add-ons go. But it is going to allow you to use this. You know, I mean, you can use this on as many websites as you want. You can, you know, if you are a, if you are an agency, if you're a website designer, this could really speed up the process of designing websites and, you know, making a change, a design change or a structural change and applying it to your whole website. Especially once you obviously know how it all works. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at Beaver Fema. Um, yeah, looks good. $110 at the moment, $110.25. And if you use Beaver Builder, I think this is something that might interest you. 
Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this short video. And until next time, take care.